Welcome back to Infigya, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging algebraic equation with factorial notation. Equation is x factorial equal to 1 fourth x cube minus x. x is whole number. If you want to know only solutions, then you can take the help of inspection method. Simply plug in few values. You will get to know which solution is accepted for x. So let me begin using recursive formula. I will write here n factorial is n times n minus 1 factorial. So left hand side it is on recursive formula we will apply. What about RHS? Once I will take common then one identity will come into the picture. That is the difference of two squares. So let me write in beginning a plus b a minus b. Now I will apply both. Left hand side I will apply recursive formula and right hand side I will apply the difference of two squares. So let us apply x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial. Recursive formula for LHS. RHS 1 over 4 take x common in bracket x square minus 1. Now I will use difference of two squares formula. So x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial equal to 1 fourth x times x minus 1 times x plus 1. Now you can see we can cancel x, x minus 1 from both the sides. But we have to be sure that it should not be the solution of original equation. So if you will check x 0 and 1, check left hand side will be 0 factorial 1, right hand side for the value 0 is 0. So left hand side 1, right hand side 0. So it is true. For 1 also, left hand side it is 1 factorial, so 1, right hand side it is 0. So I can divide both sides x x minus 1 like this and here I can write x cannot be equal to 0 and 1. So we can divide both sides. What is left now? x minus 2 factorial equal to 1 over 4 times x plus 1. Now cross multiply with 4 or multiply this equation with 4. 4 times x minus 2 factorial equal to x plus 1. Now I will use substitution. So let me consider here, let x minus 2 equal to suppose n. Then LHS I will write 4 times n factorial and RHS x plus 1. If x minus 2 is n, then x plus 1 I will write this value n plus 3. Simply add 3 to this equation. So I will be having x plus 1. So let me write here n plus 3. So this is our equation in n. 4n factorial is equal to n plus 3. It is not 4n. 4 times it is n factorial equal to n plus 3. Now I will use again the recursive formula. So I will write 4 times n factorial. I will write n times n minus 1 factorial. And right hand side you will write n plus 3 as it is unchanged. Now remember our substitution was x minus 2 was equal to n. Remember this was our substitution. Now I can divide both sides with n. Is it possible for us? Yes. Is it possible? Yes. We can divide both sides with n but make sure n should not be equal to 0. That means x should not be equal to 2. Then only we can divide by n. Let us check what happens at x equal to 2. So left hand side is 2 factorial. Right hand side is denominator 4. 8 minus 2, 6 over 4, so 3 over 2, which is not true. That means x cannot be equal to 2 for the original given equation. So we can divide both sides with n like this. So what is left? 4 times n minus 1 factorial equal to 
split our numerator 1 plus 3 over n now few logical statements will come now i can begin with the lhs see it is always positive integer let me write integer and the value of n should be either equal to or more or greater than 1 it cannot be less than 1 because then negative number factorial will come so left hand side it should be integer and n should be greater than 1 now come to the right hand side this is already integer so of course lhs is integer so rhs should be also integer this should be integer so what conditions we will apply here condition number one denominator should be less than or equal to three maximum three once it is passing three means four five six seven eight then it would be one proper fraction then this value will be in decimal now second point if you will check n should be multiple of 3 so that it will be cancelled out so you will write either n is equal to 1 so possible n values 1 2 3 done now once you will take 2 so it is not multiple of 2 so you will reject this value also so overall conclusion is from this limit inequality this constraint this constraint and this constraint then we can conclude n must be either 1 or let me write or 3 or both if it is possible so we have to only check two values n1 or n3 let us check with the original equation four times so let me write here four times n minus 1 factorial is equal to 1 plus 3 over n now n is equal to 1 i am checking only and then i will check n equal to 3 n equal to 1 so what will happen 4 times 1 minus 1 factorial equal to 1 plus 3 over 1 so it is 4 times 0 factorial equal to 1 plus 3 so 4 times 0 factorial is 1 equal to 4 4 equal to 4 this is true n equal to 1 is true now let us consider the second case possible for the value of n n equal to 3 so i will write 4 times 3 minus 1 factorial equal to 1 plus 3 over 3 so 4 times it is 2 factorial so directly i can write 2 factorial is 2 1 plus 1 so 4 times 2 is 8 this is multiplication if you have anything problematic you can put like this multiplication it is now 4 times 2 is 8 rhs is 2 so it is not equal so this is false or unaccepted or rejected solution so conclusion is n equal to 1 is the only accepted value for whole number solution of this original equation now what was our n n was our substitution x minus 2 we presumed n now let us put the value so x minus 2 equal to 1 so i will write x minus 2 equal to 1 add 2 to both sides so you will write 2 plus 1 x must be equal to 3 let's verify this directly verification so i will write for x is equal to 3 equation will become 3 factorial equal to 1 over 4 3 cube minus 3 3 factorial is 6 equal to 1 over 4 3 cube is 27 minus 3 6 equal to 1 fourth 24 and 6 is equal to 6 that means solution is true this is the way you can find out your solution with few logical statement conclusions formulas i hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video 
good luck and take care of yourself